Hello my friends, Sylvie Carey here. Today I'm going to be cooking something that's really unique to me anyway. When you know somebody who lives in Alaska, there's a wide variety of meats that you can receive as gifts that you never have ever tasted before or cooked before. I received a package which was labeled 2019 sheep steak and what I found out is that the sheep steak is actually doll sheep. Doll sheep, let me read what it says on Wikipedia. The doll sheep, also known as a thin horn sheep, is a species of wild sheep native to northwestern North America, or Alaska. They live in a terrain which is very, very, can be very cold, mountainous, and meaning that living in a terrain like that, it could be a very, very tough type meat. The doll sheep inhabits the subarctic mountain ranges of Alaska, the Yukon. They are found in a relatively dry country and try to stay in a special combination of open alpine ridges and sleep deep slopes and extremely rugged ground. And you know what that's telling you? It's tough, lean meat. The packaging that this came in was butcher paper wrapped up and it was frozen. And I partially thawed it and cut it into thin slices. I also have some slices that are a little thicker. And let me show you that so you can get an idea of how lean this meat is. And I'm not sure how I'm going to cook these pieces because I'm not sure about the tenderness of them. So we'll get to that once we start this cooking process. My plan is to take the thinly sliced meat and to make a stir fry with some noodles and vegetables. Something very, very basic. And that's gonna add a lot of flavor to it because of the sauce that I'm gonna put in it. And I'm also gonna be marinating it. When researching how to cook this meat, I didn't find very much on YouTube or by Googling it. Most of the time people do your basic things such as grilling it or smoking it or cutting it in thin slices as I've done and just making basic meat like cooked steaks. The problem being once again is that it's a very lean and tough meat and so either you've got to do something to it to make sure that it's tender or it's going to have very chewy meat. Now there are parts of this sheep that may be tender and I'm not sure that I received those parts because this was just one big block of what was labeled sheep steak. Doll steak, doll sheep steak. I'm gonna marinate my sheep in, I've got here three tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine. This is the dark. I've got three teaspoons of soy sauce. I've got three teaspoons of cornstarch and that I helped thicken it, thicken it during my stir fry. Got three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. And that baking soda will help in the tenderizing of this sheep. Once again, it's a very lean, potentially very, very tough. Okay, we've got that marinade mixed up. And it doesn't look like much, but it's enough to, to coat this the sheep. We'll put that in. It's one and a half pounds of meat. 
coat it. And get that nicely coated. We're going to then put it to the side in the refrigerator. And when we get ready to cook everything up, I'll take it out again. These are the ingredients for my marinade. And they include one and a half cups of water, to which I'm going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, All that out of there. All that yummy, yummy, yummy. Love hoisin sauce. And five spice. Simple ingredients. I'll stir those around, get them incorporated, and we can get ready to do this stir fry. We'll add this to the mixture. When combined with the cornstarch that's in there, it should thicken it a little bit. It won't make a gravy, but it'll just make it a little thicken so it won't be runny like a soup. We're gonna cook. Got the doll sheep that's been marinated in the refrigerator for a few hours. Got my wok with a little bit of oil in there. And what I'm going to first do is we're going to cook the meat and then move on to the next step. So I'll get this hot. It'll be almost where you see a little bit of smoke coming off of it. Doesn't take it very long. Okay, let's get this meat in. It cook fairly quick. Cook it up. Yes, indeed. We're cooking doll sheep as a stir fry. And what I'm hoping is that with this cooking method, we can get it tender. Okay, now I'm going to move the meat off the, off the wok. You got that cooked. This is avocado oil. And to that we're going to add our ginger and also the garlic. And we're just cooking these so they're fragrant, real quick cooking those. Don't want to burn it. Now in goes our vegetables. I'm going to put the green beans in first. 
going to take, probably will take the longest to cook of the vegetables that I have here. And just move those around a bit. Next, I'm going to add the onion and the bell pepper. Next thing going in is going to be my noodles. Drop that pearl under there, making all that noise. And to that noodle mixture, we're adding in our sauce. A couple of good things happen with that. That sauce deglazes the pan. We get this all combined. Gonna now add in my tomatoes. and the green onion. We're going to cook this mixture until this juice sort of evaporates. But I don't want it to evaporate too much because remember I've got that cornstarch in this meat and I want it to help thicken everything up. How you liking me now? Those colors are just fantastic. It looks really, really good. Here we have our doll sheep from Alaska, cooked in a stir fry with green beans. We've got some tomatoes in there, some bell peppers, onion, garlic, and ginger. Did I leave anything out? We garnished it with some cilantro. Now it's time to eat. Hubby and I finished dinner. Now you guys know that I most often do not taste my food on camera. I just have a thing about that. But I am happy to report that that meat was super tender, tasty. The ginger, the garlic, and all those other spices in there were just exceptional. This is a must-do-again type meal even though I'm not going to have any more doll sheep to make it with, but very good. And I'm not lying about this, I'm just, I was even more surprised than anyone that that sheep could be so tender and not gamey. Very, very good. Suggested way of doing it is to slice it really thin, put it in a marinade, stir fry it, and you're good to go. Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q, and I'm off to the next project. Bye-bye. I want to give credit to a couple of the sources of the video that I 
included here of the doll sheep. And that's going to go to Alaskan Zoo, in addition to another segment of it from Amazing Alaska Animals Doll Sheep.